Welcome back, people. Matthew here with Living Differently. And today I'd like to go ahead and talk about uh, functional neurological disorder symptoms, uh, what kind of symptoms I have that are pretty much lined up with the same. I think even though it is derived from something else, I still have the disorder and I'd like to go ahead and share with you my symptoms, okay? Thank you. Number one, apnea. Sometimes it's often rare. Uh, it doesn't happen very much, but it can happen. Apnea. All of a sudden, out of the blue, I'll just stop breathing. For some reason, I can't breathe. Uh, at that point, uh, in about two to three minutes, I'll come around, usually. Supposed to be, or else I'll die, <laughs> right? So, uh, if I seem to not be able to breathe, it's just a symptom of neurological disorder and it's gonna pass. Two, dystonia. Sometimes uh, in dystonia, people who are unfamiliar uh, with dystonia, uh, it's basically the locking or tensing of the uh, muscles. Uh, it's, I don't, I, I can't really describe it so much of a definition in medical terms. All I can just tell you is that when it occurs, it often occurs, this is a typical one, where all of a sudden that uh, brain activity and the electricity goes into this uh, nerve right here in this uh, this muscle, and it's it freezes up, and it, it stays like that. And what I ended up doing is I uh, try to work it out uh, like this, or I try to distract myself. And when I distract myself, sometime or another, my brain will start to, you know, work out the electricity elsewhere, doing other things. So it'll start to relieve the nerve and relieve the, the muscles. Three, tremors. It's, uh, Basically, uh, shaking very, uh, very fast, very minimal, like so. Uh, tremors uh, don't really happen often, but they can. They have uh, happened maybe you know, every couple days, every other day, or something like that. And it's very slight. It's very small. Uh, it's pretty much a symptom of inactive, uh, abnormal brain activity. <laughs> and it manifests into that. Uh, it goes pretty short and quick. Uh, it's nothing really alarming when it happens. It just goes and comes and leaves. So that's it. Four, loss of speech. I have loss of speech. It happens pretty much every day at some point, or if it doesn't happen that day, then I'm glad. Uh, what ends up happening is for some reason, uh, my brain activity, uh, I'm get, I get excited, or something like that. Uh, that pretty much excites to, to the point where my activity is, it, is able to compute. It's kind of similar to stuttering, but loss of speech, I can try to talk, and I'll end up coming out with like slurred speech, where like, da, 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 beep, beep, beep. So I pretty much don't fight it. I just let it go. It is what it is. It's a part of the condition. There you go. What I do about that is when I actually have loss of speech, I just don't talk. <laughs> I just don't talk. That's pretty much how it works. Just don't talk. Let the brain activity work itself out. If you fight it, it's gonna make things worse. Just let go, let him, let you. Do what you can, when you can, it's all good, it'll come back. Six, paralysis. Um, for obvious reasons, uh, paralysis uh, is one of them. It's not only that I do have uh, peripheral uh, neuropathy or nerve damage that's coming off the cord, my branches, uh, my uh, twigs, my wires, not the actual cable. Um, that right there, uh, when the electricity can or could pass through, you know, there's not enough electricity to actually contract my muscle group. So there is one uh, of the reasons why I can't walk, uh, but also my brain activity here. 
paralysis can actually happen due to brain damage. Uh, how that occurs and why that occurs on a simple practical scale, it's that basically a file or many files inside of the brain, uh, the, the brain isn't unable to actually access that with the uh, electrical activity and the electrical activity isn't able to actually be sent from the brain down the cord to the nerves to contract. So it's, it's everything. It's brain, stem, electrical nerves or wires all the way down and then it has to come back up. It has to be a complete circuit. Our nerves, our bodies are no different with electricity. It's a DC circuit, so that basically means it has to flow back up. So with that said, my brain is unable to actually send down my cord to the lace to coordinate and move, so I have both. Six. Ticks. I have ticks, obviously. Uh, ticks can actually range from uh, different types of things like motor movements and issues. If you see me uh, in public uh, or you know wherever privately, I think those are ticks. Uh, you can call these vocal ticks if you want, I think, but I don't really say anything. Uh, in the past, without the earplugs, I have said weird stuff, but they're nothing comprehensible. They're not words. They're just blah. But since the earplugs and the earmuffs and so all that like that, uh, I've been able to uh, control, not really control, I've been able to minimize, manage my tics by uh, doing whatever I can to distract. So the tics are motor movement, stuff like that. If you actually see me doing something like this, it's, you know, something crazy or far out, it's a tick. Seven, blackouts. Blackouts can and, can and will occur. They, uh, they happen usually when I'm emotional. When I'm emotional, uh, things get worse for me, uh, symptoms. So I try not to actually get really, uh, you know, overly emotional. Uh, when I actually get too overly emotional or uh, when I have a huge issue to, like, that's really confusing or something like that, I might actually find myself ready to go down for the count. That's a blackout. And it, you can call it a blackout with loss of a consciousness or awareness, but usually a lot, you probably know it, as people just do whatever they can or do whatever they do and they don't remember it. Me, that's a blackout. And you'll see it on functional neurological uh, disorder symptoms, and that's what it is. What happens when that happens is I don't, I can't control it. It happens about like two to three minutes. And, you know, I'm pretty much safe. I have a seatbelt buckle. I typically, not all the time, but I typically, I'm safe. Look at that. I'm safe. <laughs> I'm safe, dude. I'm safe. I got a backrest. I forward. Like, where am I gonna go? <laughs> where, am I, where am I gonna go? I, I'm going anywhere. So I'm pretty much safe. Uh, if if the, if I actually do black out and in front of you and in public, uh, pretty much all you have to do really is just keep me upright. You know, just put me up, put my shoulder up. Don't try to wake me up. Don't try to do anything. Most often times you won't have a cold ice pack because that'll actually shock the brain and that'll actually really have those impulses going up and down. It might actually work, uh, getting me to kind of go, you know, normal, uh, you know, wake up guy. It's just like, whoa, that happens. If it doesn't and you're in public, just let it be, dude. Just put, you know, just post up, just make sure, you know, don't do anything if you don't if you if you don't feel comfortable doing anything to don't do anything. Shoot, I'm fine. I'm safe. Like where, 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 where am I gonna go? <laughs> am I gonna go fall out of the chair? Like really? That's <laughs> really really difficult. Well, that's what's going on, guys. Uh, I do uh, have uh, managing techniques to manage my symptoms, uh, but that's actually for a separate video. Thank you if you actually uh, like what you hear, if you understand 
Uh, if you have a loved one who actually has uh, neurological symptoms that is new to this, uh, please uh, share this with them about what I go through, how I manage, things like that. Um, we go ahead and post more things in, um, you know, in the future about these types of symptoms and how I go about doing things occupationally, physically, and all that stuff. So still stick around. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some more uh, wonderful videos. Hey! Along with that, please hit the subscribe button, like button, everything counts. It's just the same like a business or anything else like that. The more you subscribe, the more you tell your friends, the more you actually, you know, you get excited about all these kinds of things. Hey, the more things grow, the more I'll actually be able to uh, give you more content, to give you more things because I love you guys, man. I love life and I love being excited for doing things. I like doing things um, occupationally, I work on cars, you know, bare knuckle it, boom, bang my knuckles. So yeah, please uh, hit the subscribe button and like and tell your friends about me. Um, have a good one, okay?